children welcome back to the class in previous class we have learned animals everywhere about organs of breathing feeding habits in animals their organs of feeding movements in animals and now we are going to land animals okay children we are seeing now land animals okay what are land animals what are land animals children see open all of you open your textbooks and see what are land animals all mammals are called land animals okay see here horses most animals have four limbs so most mammals have four limbs the two at the front are called four limbs see children see in the figure the front these two are called four limbs so this both are called four limbs you can see in this figure okay this is a horse the front two limbs are called four limbs and the two at the back are called hind limbs the front two limbs are called fore limbs and the back two limbs are called hind limbs some animals use all the fore limbs to move while others use only the hind limb so all animals will have fore limbs fore limbs will have the front two are called front are called fore limbs back are called hind limbs okay so in the land animals all will use both but in some animals only they will use four limbs okay only they will use hind limbs sorry can you name the most famous animal which walks on two legs so can you name can you name the animal which walks only on two legs think and say me in the next class name any two animals which walks on two legs okay children in the next class i'll ask you this question and you have to okay next coming to the next topic water animals what are water animals what are water animals the main water animals you know is fish what is main water animal fish how it will swim it will swim with fins how it will swim it will swim with fins fish have fins for swimming the two paid fins are used to move forward see here the paid fins moves forward to swim it will be having two paid fins which moves forward the unpaid fin maintains balance so it is having another unpaid fins which maintains balance and the tail fin see back side the tail fin the back side the tail fin what it does it helps to change the direction of the movement i think many of you have seen the fish the back side the tail the fish the tail will be there no what it will do it will helps to change the direction of the movement turtles when you come to turtle turtle is also a water animal it is having four paddle like limbs to push water back and to swim it pushes the water back and it swims forward penguins use their two fore limbs as flippers to push water and to swim even penguin is also a water animal frog frog i told you what is a frog frog is an amphibian what is an amphibian it, what is an amphibian amphibian means it lives both on land and also in water frogs have webbed feet to swim webbed means wet feet to swim but when on land they jump the 
with the help of their long thin legs when they are on land what they will do they will jump they won't walk with their hind legs with long hind legs next coming to insects these six legged creatures so what are insects insects have six legged creatures the six legged creatures are called insects they use their legs for their movements insects like ants cockroaches crawl on their legs a grasshopper uses its long hind legs for hopping what does the grasshopper do a grasshopper uses their uses its long hind legs for hopping what are insects like water boatsmen use their legs as oars for swimming some insects have one or two pairs some insects will be having one or two pairs of wings to fly it will be having one or two pairs also wings to fly the wings of insects are different from those of birds so insects will be having a pair of very thin wings those wings are different from birds the wings of insects are different from the wings of birds the wings of insects will be having a very tiny wings but the bird but the birds wings are different from the wings of an insect they have no feathers or bones of strong muscles they don't have any bones or strong feathers like birds their wings are made of tiny colored scales they are made of tiny colored scales they move with the help of their chest muscles insects such as lice bed bugs do not have wings they cannot fly they move by crawling what they will move by crawling means what they will how the baby crawls how the baby crawls it will crawl it will be crawling like this the insect will also be crawling it will be crawling next coming to birds the four limbs of a bird are in the form of wings so the four limbs of a bird are in the form of a wings these wings help them to fly the wings have feathers the wings have feathers the wings are attached to the breast bone of the bird with the help of the strong muscles these muscles enable the bird to flap its wings and to fly these muscles enable the bird to flap its wings to fly when a bird lands after a flight it uses its hind limbs when the bird after flight when it is ready to land what it uses it uses its hind limbs it uses its hind limbs it also uses them to walk run hop and perch it also uses to uses these hind limbs to walk run hop and perch okay the hind limbs are also used to scratch the ground even they also they are also used to scratch the ground catch prey and they are also used to attack the enemies they are also used to attack the enemies though all the birds have wings some are unable to fly because their wings are too weak for flying they are very very weak to fly they are too weak for flying the emu the ostrich the rhea the penguin and the kiwi are flightless birds so they cannot fly even though they are birds they are unable to fly the emu ostrich rhea penguin these are also birds we call them birds they will not fly they will walk on the ground okay even though they have wings they will not at all fly reptiles crocodiles turtles and tortoise are reptiles so lizards crocodiles turtles tortoise all these are called as reptiles they have a dry scaly skin what they have they have a dry scaly skin and lay soft shelled eggs they lay 
soft shelled eggs on land though they have limbs they crawl even though they have limbs they will crawl they won't walk they will crawl snakes are also reptiles they do not have legs they don't have legs the snakes also will crawl they have scales or plates on the underside of their bodies so how the snake will walk the snake will crawl the snake will not at all walk the snake will have the scales underneath the body these plates are attached to their ribs when snakes move these plates act like feet and nips act like eggs legs besides plates they have strong see children movement is divided movement of the animal is divided into three parts in water in air and on land we have discussed no see movement first coming in water by swimming fins paddle like limbs and webbed feet fins means what what you have to get fish how fishes will swim through fins turtles how they will swim they will be having paddle like limbs frogs will be having webbed feet how frogs will swim by their webbed feet coming the movement in air so in air means the birds will be flying no by flying it is divided into two parts how wings and feathers and wings and scales wings and feathers means birds okay wings and feathers means birds wings and scales means butterflies coming on the movement on land movement on land means by crawling running or walking and this is divided into three parts scales short legs long and strong legs so scales means i told you no snakes short legs who are having short legs which animal is having short legs lizards long and strong legs deer okay in this way the movement of animals is divided into <coughs> in water in air and on land okay we have to go next we'll go to humans compared to the limbs of animals the limbs of humans are highly developed they use only one pair of limbs that is lower limbs to support their body while walking or standing that is why unlike other animals human have humans have correct and erect posture they stand walk and run with only one pair of limbs they run they stand or walk or jump or do anything they will run with only one pair of limbs they use only one pair of limbs called legs we use only one pair of limbs called legs that is an this is an advantage for example when in danger they can use their legs to run and escape <coughs> and their arms or upper limbs for defense or attack so if you are in any danger what we do if we see fire there what we do we'll run with our legs if anyone comes and beat us if they are ready to beat us with we we will attack with our hands we can defend them with our hands we use our four limbs okay we will run with our leg limbs so these are very useful for humans our hands are adapted to hold objects the arrangement of the thumb opposite the fingers enables us to hold tools and do many kinds of work so we can say that humans are the most developed among all animals so our is a our humans is a our humans are our correct posture our leg limbs are very useful and also our hand limbs are also very useful for us the children next coming to migration among animals migration among what is migration
what is migration migration means moving to another places so moving from one place to another places for migrating some animals move great distances at certain times of the year this mass movement of animals from one place to another is called migration moving from one place to another is called migration animals migrate to escape harsh weather to search for food and to reach their breeding grounds so animals moving from one place to another to escape from harsh weather is called as migration some birds like storks and mallard ducks from other countries visit india every winter to enjoy the cool climate migratory fish like eels spend their life in rivers they travel from the river to the sea to lay eggs that is called migration when the eggs hatch the parent eels die and the egg whens travel back to the river from where the parents had started their journey so the eels move from their place to here and hatch here and the parent dies here and again the children will go to their parental place Loc locusts are harmful migratory insects swarms of locusts settle on standing crops and destroy them many kinds of butterflies also migrate the monarch butterflies fly from canada to mexico migration is most common in birds so migration moving from one place to another place is very very common in birds the arctic term travels a distance of nearly 35000 kilometers between the arctic and the antarctic twice a year the european stork travels from europe to africa every winter when spring comes it returns to europe to the same nest so this is very common in birds that is the migration it is a great mystery how migrating animals decide where to go and in which direction to fly it is very common to birds in which direction they fly and where to go they will decide and it is very common for birds to migrate then they will where to migrate and where they in search of food some animals take the help of sea currents the reindeer find their direction with the help of the sun they take the help of the directions of the sea currents birds follow the coastline scientists use various old and new methods to study still our scientists are in search of in the research they are finding their new methods in the study of migration rings and tiny transmitters are fixed on animals to track their movement patterns we should look after our feathered friends and protect them from any harm so we are not supposed to harm any birds any migration birds because they will come in search of food and we must protect our birds and we have to see that animals are everywhere okay children i hope you have understood the lesson and i'll be back in the next session thank you all